Hey you guys, good morning. Uh, I think, I think I finally did it. I finally achieved my makeup, no makeup look. And I completely forgot to do my edges. Oh. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is aviana sade or kid does not matter to me kid is just a sticky nickname and i kind of like to stick by it if you are i think there was a bus outside if you've been on my channel for a little minute you know i used to come on here saying hey i'm just trying to get my life together if you're trying to get your life together watching me getting my life together let's get our lives together together i'm still doing that i'm just not saying that because i feel like every video i have to do something working towards the glow up working towards that woman that i want to be however i am i am still doing that i just don't want nobody to really hold me to that and be like how does this how does this count in today's videos you can tell by the title i just want to give everyone um a few tips that I have to smell good all day, every day. And I'm not doing too much because if it was a lot of tips, tricks, and hacks, I would yap and yap and yap and yap and yap and the video would be longer than it has to be. So I have five for y'all. But first, before we get into the video, today is November 14th. It's Wednesday, November 14th. Two of my friends' birthdays are today. However, I have, I actually don't know if they're subscribed to me. I have to check if they're subscribed to me. But someone had commented on my, um, on this video, uh, their birthday. And their birthday was yesterday, November 13th. And I just want to say that because one thing about me, I love, 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 love birthdays. I love birthdays. And to be a new YouTuber and get a couple of comments, you know, I'm a little happy. So as soon as they commented that, I liked it and I told myself I have to put it in my calendar and I have to give them a birthday shout out. So happy belated. I know your birthday was yesterday and by the time you guys see this, it would have been longer than yesterday, but happy belated birthday to It's Zara Dragons. Thank you for commenting, being one of the first commenters on my videos. I am a new YouTuber, so it meant a lot to me that you watched it and connected. Thank you. Okay, also, last thing, la very last thing before we get started. It's quick, I promise I'm not gonna be a yapper girl about it. My hair challenge, yes, my hair is in braids. If you guys don't know about the hair challenge, I'm, I am started a hair challenge and I wanna see where my hair gets to in the next three months and if you all want to join in with me, join in with me. Subscribe. Make sure you hit that um, that bell to know when I'm posting and uploading. And every video from then on, I'm going to give an update about how I've been applying the mixture to my hair. So far on Sunday, what was Sunday? On Sunday, November 10th and yesterday, November 13th, I greased my head. I only did it twice this week, and today is Wednesday. I'm probably going to do it again tomorrow just to keep you guys updated. Okay, let's get into the video. As I said earlier, we're working towards getting our life together, being that woman that you want to be, being that person you want to be. So this video is dedicated to maintenance and smelling like that person that you want to be. Because, let's face it, first impressions are everything, you guys. And the way you smell could be that one thing. Earlier, I said I have five tips, tricks, and hacks to give you guys to smell good all day, every day. Just enough to allow me to yap and not let the video be too long. Let's get into the first tip. So, knowing your pressure points. That's number one. Is it called pressure points? You know, we'll just put the real thing somewhere on the screen. <laughs> but I'm going to put a chart right here because it's different for guys and girls and basically... Your pressure points, or that's what I'm going to call it right now. Your pressure points are basically the parts of your body that heat up and emit aroma the most. So whenever you put any fragrances on those pressure points, your body emits that aroma a lot more outward and people are able to smell you. I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Aside from it being the points of your body that emits aroma, it's also the points of your body that people, whenever you come in close contact with someone or whenever you're intimate with somebody, 
it would be those parts of your body that is like closer to their nose if that makes sense like if you go hug somebody if you go hug somebody having the scent on your inner elbows and your wrists is going to be close to their nose if you're like holding some guy at the neck your wrists are right there by their nose if you're hugging them it's right this is like close to their nose if if you're a girl hugging a guy normally i mean not normal don't call me a heightist but you know and heightist probably isn't even a real word <laughs> just we make up words over here and we just roll with it because it makes sense right don't call me a heightist but um more times than not the girl is shorter than the guy so whenever we go in for a hug if it's not an over the shoulder hug and it's just a hug like this we can smell your chest so or or we would be closer to your shoulders walking by you because more times than not the girl is shorter than the guy so don't call me heist <laughs> so knowing where your pressure points are and i put the chart up there i'll put it back up again knowing where your pressure points are and putting your fragrances in those specific spots will help enhance your scent and it will help you smell good all day every day and because your body emits heat and aroma from those points it would enhance your smell even more number two it's a trick vaseline vaseline so boom this is what you want to do now that we know our pressure points right you don't necessarily have to put it on your pressure points. However, we know that your pressure points emit the aroma more, but Vaseline, literally, we're gonna do my wrists. Vaseline helps the fragrance stay on you longer. So it creates a lasting smell, so it stays forever. And then doing this with perfumes that already last about a good 48 hours, Putting the Vaseline on it's gonna make it last maybe like a a good five ten more hours We're gonna do my Mont Blanc signature because if you watch my other video um, Finding my signature scent I found my signature scent for the fall because I change my scent every season and this season is Mont Blanc signature and alien By Mugler the goddess one the Willow Smith one and then fame is gonna just just gonna be a staple. So we're gonna take the Vaseline, right? Boom. Put it right here on my wrist because my wrist is a pressure point. It got it got close to my face. When you do this, the scent is going to stay on you for a good while. As a matter of fact, nah, because I'm gonna end up taking a shower tonight. Now it's gonna make the scent stay on longer. But also. How I would do it, Mont Blanc Signature is like a gourmand type of scent, right? So when it comes to my gourmand type scents, I use the Vaseline, the Cocoa Butter Vaseline. Vaseline also has the regular, regular scented Vaseline. Um, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they have the Aloe Vaseline and the lavender Vaseline, I, I believe. I don't think they have the lavender, actually. I think I'm just making that up. I think I'm just making that up. But I know, I think they have the aloe Vaseline. And then they also have, not in one of these big jars, I think, but I know in the small lip therapy jars, they have the rose Vaseline. So how I would do it, we're gonna make it make sense. Use the cocoa butter Vaseline when it comes to your gourmand scents. Use the aloe Vaseline when it comes to use the aloe Vaseline or the or the regular scented Vaseline for your fresh and clean scents. Like when you just want to smell fresh and clean, use the regular non-scented Vaseline or the aloe one. If you want to make your rose scents last longer, use the rose Vaseline. Like it just it just makes sense, right? Like that would help enhance that scent even more. And this low key brings me to number three. So number three, my favorite one, my favorite one, just because I just love scented things so much. I just love doing this. I just love doing this. Layer your scents. Layering your scents. You would be smelling good. Like sure perfumes could last a couple, well not a couple, a lot of hours, like 16 to 48 hours, depending on what perfume you're using. But if you do this stuff every day, 
it's never like that's gonna become your scent like that's gonna become you like you like so boom anyways this is how i do the whole layering my scents thing following along now double wash in the shower use my non-scented soap for the first wash use my scented body soap for the second wash moisturizing oil while i'm still in the shower while my body is still wet ish kind of damp but like wet ish moisturizing oil then my lotion then my body cream then my oil this would be like a scented oil then my body spray then the vaseline of choice depending on the perfume or scents that i'm gonna be using roll-on oil and then my perfume and then we could take it a step further but the step further is number four and we're not there yet basically in the way i explained it i brought some products out here with me but the rest is in the shower and I just don't feel like, I just don't feel like wetting up my carpet. So anyways, I go on my non-scented soap. We're just gonna use pictures for the stuff that's not here with me. Use my non-scented soap. Then I use my wash. Oh snap, I missed something when I was reading it earlier. Non-scented soap, my scented body wash, my scrub. I scrub a dub in the shower, okay? And it, pause, pause real quick. This is like, this is a yapper girl moment but i promise it's worth it listen i told myself i want to do a face mask today because i have these two pimples i just needed a clay mask i didn't want anything too much to deal with peel off nothing so i this was under my sink and i was just like you know what let me use this one i've never opened it i just opened it today right i put this thing on my face and it smells just so cocoa but as it's sitting on my face for the 15 minutes that I left it on my face, I'm realizing it smells just like this. And I thought to myself, I'm just like, there's no way I have a face mask that smells like my body scrub. That, that's gotta be some type of top tier scented, right? That's gotta be some type of top tier scented. So not only does my body smell great, my face smells like my body. What? That's amazing. Anyways, we stopped that scrub it up. Mm -hmm. So, boom, boom, scrub a dub. And then, oh my gosh, it's on me now. Then I moisturize my, my moisturizing oil for the shower. I use just regular 100% pure unrefined coconut oil. Then I step out the shower dap dap myself with the towel then i do my 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 i brush my teeth do my facial care all of that then moisturizing my body still with the scents boom right now i'm using this this is my lotion of choice right now boom going with this then i go on with the body glaze uh scent from heaven these two do not smell the same, but they go together. So I promise y'all they go together so bad. Y'all just gotta try it. Amber Romance from Victoria's Secret and Body Glaze, scent from heaven. But like, you gotta layer it the way I'm layering it. Amber Romance Lotion, Body Glaze, Body Butter. Then we go in with the oil all over the body, which is also the scent from heaven from Body Glaze, you know? layering we're layering it on not only is layering it on helping you uh enhance your scent this this little routine i got going on this little routine keeps my body smooth keeps my body nice and smooth it luxurious like it's just a i'm giving y'all the gems i'm giving y'all the gems going with that body oil oil all the way yada yada blah blah then i go with the amber romance Right, like we're layering here. Then, just because a Mont Blanc signature and Paco Rabanne fame and Mugler alien goddess doesn't have a roll on oil, I use the, oh my gosh, am I running out? I use the Choco Musk roll on oil. Put the roll on, or I lied, put the Vaseline on my pressure points. And I don't, I actually don't put the Vaseline on all my pressure points because who's gonna put Vaseline back here? Sometimes I do use Vaseline as a moisturizer for my face. Sometimes, usually in the colder, colder winter months, like February, March, but putting Vaseline right here and right here, like it's just gonna feel a little. I just put the Vaseline here and here, and then I do the roll on oil on my pressure point still, back here, boom, boom. 
and then go in with the with the yeah and sometimes you can even layer your perfumes like i would layer this with the alien mugler and my fame it's just both of those two are running out so i'm so scared to use it let's move on to number four taking it a bit of a step further with layering on your scents make sure your environment smells good too but not only smelling good if you don't have a specific scent that you're striving for it don't you just gotta make sure your environment smells good make sure your sheets are always washed make sure your clothes are washed make sure I don't know, you vacuum your carpet, you mop your floors, you wash your dishes. Just a clean house is just gonna smell. It's just, it's gonna smell just fine. And then you can scent it up however with candles and all of that stuff. But if you're going for smelling a certain signature way for a good long time, you gotta invest in that type of stuff. See me personally, I've only found the stuff that I really need when it comes to the spring and when it comes to the winter because they, the scents that I use for those seasons, they always have it on deck for everything that I need. I start with my laundry, those, those little scent beads, those little scent beads and the fabric softener is going to be scented the same way I want to be scented. Gourmand type of scent. Right now, it's not that, but once we hit December, Oh, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. Uh, uh, that vanilla one. I'm getting that vanilla one. With your dryer sheets, put your dryer sheets as the same scent area that you're going for. And notice that whenever I showed y'all all of these things, they were not all the same thing. But you can match your scents. To that's like a whole nother tip. There goes a bonus tip because it wasn't number five. But like, you don't have to have the same scent to smell ever so one thing. You can always just use things that match, like putting honey with amber and cocoa, vanilla and brown sugar, all different scents, but they match so well. You you just, how do you say no? How do you say no to that? You don't, you can't say no to that. I gotta get in the habit of looking at the camera <laughs> and not at the screen, but y'all just gotta see myself because I look good. I look good. My mama on my hood. I look right, yeah, I look good. Touch my swag, wish you could. I look fly, yeah, I look good. Start with your laundry. Them dryer sheets, that fabric softener, those scent beads. Scent it up however you wanna scent it up. Get some wall plugins for your room. Scent that up however you wanna scent it up. Go smell some stuff and plug it in if you really like it. Get some candles that match your scent if that's what you're going for sent it up in your car they have the i have the little spray things i have the vent clips and i have the little trees i don't play about this whole smelling good thing like <laughs> I'm, i don't play about this i just love smelling good like smelling good is therapy i don't know if that's some form of aromatherapy or creative aromatherapy whatever i love this stuff like Let's stop before I get a little carried away and continue yapping on. Tip number five, really should have been number one, really should not even have to be said, be clean. Just be clean. Please be clean. This shouldn't even have to be said, but like, I would hope everyone is taking their showers. I would hope everyone is brushing their teeth because sweet and stink do not mix is horrible and you don't want to smell like you tried to cover it up with with tips one through four but you didn't even take a shower brush your teeth clean your room i can't speak too much about a clean room because my well my room is never dirty my room is messy okay the clothes be everywhere but I vacuum in here all the time and I have to vacuum my bed too because I don't know who told me to get a tufted bed, but now I have to vacuum the bed too. That was one through five, my tips, tricks, and hacks to smelling good all day, every day, the best way from Aviana Shade. Bars. Bars. Um, That's all I have for you guys today. 
if y'all would like more tips, let me know in the comments below because I have more. I didn't want to say too much because I know that I'm a yapper girl. Like I'm a certified yapper. I know. This was mean. I know I did this. But yes, leave the leave in the comments below if you guys would like any more tips, tricks, and hacks to smelling good all day, every day. If y'all want to see my no makeup makeup look, like if y'all want to thing to this. Let me know because I need to practice and I feel like I did a great job today. I actually accidentally forgot to put on foundation. So this is a no foundation look. Tell me it doesn't eat. Tell me it doesn't eat dome. Tell me it doesn't eat dome. Do y'all like the setup? I just got this yesterday. I just got this. Okay, let me stop yapping. <laughs> let me stop yapping. We can save this for another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to continue, following me on this hair challenge journey make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so that you would know every upload what the update is with the grease and the hair and the length and everything i just braided my hair last week that was the video i posted last week so this is gonna be in for like a good month so i don't know the next four or five videos we're gonna be seeing braids but then we're gonna be seeing my hair so if you guys want to follow along with the hair challenge Go ahead, subscribe, hit the bell. Give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this. And if you want to see some more, leave that down in the comments below. If you guys have any other tips of your own, leave those in the comments below too. Like, we could start a conversation. We could put each other on. You put me on, I put you on, we put us on. Anyways, that's the end of this video. For real this time, you guys, I promise I'm not yapping no more. That's the end of the video. I love you guys so much. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,